What do you think about people saying that or accusing you of just trying to start feuds? Do no. you think that's that's no. true, or are you no, just no, 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 you, no. you just feel like you've been I, silent for too long? I would never. Um, I don't go around looking for trouble. Yeah. I don't. I don't have beef with any artists in the game. I went through that phase in my career with the mm -hmm. whole Chris Brown boxing sure, match, sure, sure. and it's just like that's behind me. I spoke to everybody who I had problems with, and we squashed it. I don't have problems with anybody right mm -hmm. now. But at the same time, hip hop is a very competitive nature. You know, it's a very competitive industry. So. I have to let the people know what's going on. If I sit back and be quiet, and these dudes not giving me my credit, mm -hmm. and they might miscredit and give it to somebody else. So I gotta stand up and tell everybody what's going on right now. I started the internet. I kicked the door down for all these new artists. If it wasn't me for me, they wouldn't be getting signed. Mm -hmm. Kanye don't got more swag than me. He's not better than me. And it just is what it is. Yeah. I'm the new best rapper. I'm the hottest rapper in the game. And y'all just, they just gotta accept it. If Kanye comes after you on Twitter, are you gonna Go back. I'm gonna ignore it because yeah. they say that he, you know, he's on meds and he, you know, every week he's tweeting about Drake and it's just like, yo, how you mad at Drake for following Kim Kardashian? She's a model, she's beautiful. Everybody's gonna follow Kim Kardashian. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So mm -hmm. at the same time, it's like when he goes on his rants and stuff like that. I don't know if it's from a real space or if it's from if he needs his meds or if it's just he's thinking straight. You know, mm -hmm. I know my words are coming from a true place and they're all facts and, and, and there's nothing wrong with me. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So. I, I don't know if I could just go back and forth for him on, on Twitter because that might not be healthy. I know you kind of touched on it before, but Drake versus Kanye. I mean, whose side do you kind of... I'm not taking... No, I'm taking yeah. my side. Like, I feel like, yo, what's the hype all about? Like, you know, mm -hmm. I got more swag than both of these dudes. I look better. I'm younger than both of these dudes. Like Ariana Grande versus Pete Davidson. That's so... You know, rest in peace to my boy Mac Miller. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And, who actually, you know, he actually, uh, he actually DM'd me a week before he passed. Oh, really? And I was so busy dealing with so much stuff. I'm the number one trend in the world right now. Look at you. <laughs> I was busy, didn't, let me, let me, let me pull this up real quick. Let me see, 2018, I'm, mm -hmm. yo, what's good? I'm like, what's popping? Are you okay, what's good? My guy, what's the word? What you up to, brother? Nothing, man, hanging and working. Are you in Los Angeles? Mm -hmm. And then like the next week I got the news and I was just like, man, I wish I could have hit him back and you know, we could have had a conversation. Yeah. But you know, rest in peace, Mag Miller. But the whole situation with Ariana and it's just, it's just touchy because mental health and suicide is so, you know, relevant right now than mm -hmm. it's ever been. So it's something that you, you just, just, sit back and just hope because it doesn't happen to anybody you know it's, and you just got to know it's a very serious subject mm -hmm. you know it's a very serious topic right now yeah. yeah well thank you so much for coming by thanks for having me of course we're so excited to see you on marriage boot camp you want to tell everybody where they can check it out we tv every thursday at 10 o'clock